Then after the teacher went out just to brighten things up again, he would say something so that everybody forgets and comes back to their senses again. He would be an individual which would bring smiles to many of people. He was such an individual that not only with us, generally people have their classmates. But he was an individual who had friend, who would always have a good attitude, good nature with the peers, with his elders, with his peers, and also the young ones. SubhanAllah. Everybody loved this individual. SubhanAllah. He passed away on Wednesday. And when we went for his janazah on Saturday, Alhamdulillah, we were privileged of trying to be with him for quite a bit of time before we buried him. And the strange thing was, Allahu Akbar, when we took him from the masjid that he was given ghusl in to the home of Mufti Sadr Saab, and when we opened up the coffin, the first thing we saw was the smile on his face. Allahu Akbar. Amen. Say, La ilaha illallah. Yeah? No. Everybody is requesting to pray three times. Allah. For Isa is sawab, for reward for Mawlana Shahan Sahib. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul ahad, Allah samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. Qul huwa Allah ahad, Allah samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. Qul huwa Allah ahad, Allah samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. He had a smile on his face. And this quality and characteristic of Mu'ana Shahan as Shaheed. He unfortunately in the past had cancer. He was diagnosed with cancer and he went through treatment. He went to Bangladesh for relief projects. He went to Cox Bazaar. He went to Cox Bazaar giving relief out to the refugees. And then when he came back he suddenly oh, having, he started having pains. He started having pains in his legs and especially his knees so the pain went more severe he came back on I think Saturday or Sunday the pain increased on Tuesday night and Wednesday they took him to hospital whilst he was at the attended by the paramedics and by the doctors and the nurses at the hospital he was in the room and he was saying don't open the blinds I see a lot of noor, subhanAllah. I'm seeing a lot of noor, a lot of light. Those were the malaika that he was observing. And then suddenly he said that he fell, he went into unconsciousness. And he realized that his kidneys has failed. And whilst he was on a stretcher. Unfortunately, a cardiac arrest happened, a heart attack happened. And at that time, they were trying. It was just before Salat al Maghrib. I still know I was in Birmingham that day. I had a talk at Al Falah Institute at, in Birmingham. And I was at one of Akhruddin's Saab's house. And just before Salat al Maghrib, we got the news that he is going through a very hard time and everybody was requested to make dua. And after Salat al Maghrib, we got the news that Mu'ana Shahan Rahmatullah has passed away. Inna lillahi wa inna Within a short time, he passed away. And they say, Sadruddin Sahib was saying to us on the Saturday that when Mu'ana Shahan was in the state of unconsciousness, Whenever he would wake up and they would take the ventilator away from his mouth, he would be saying, Muhammad Rasulullah, Muhammad Rasulullah, and they say that whenever they saw him just before he passed away, that he raised his hands, says, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, he did this three times. And we are all aware of the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa The person who passes away due to illness in the stomach 
is the shaheed, is the martyr. Allah granted him the death of a martyr. But who did we know? He was the youngest of the four 